Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thrunite BSS V4. This is an EDC and probably tactical flashlight. Really cool light, got some cool features, so let's get into it. So a couple housekeeping things real quick. If I sound like I'm out of breath, it's because I am. I've uh, been quarantined now for like nine days, um, been pretty much bedridden, and uh, still having a hard time breathing. Been very sick with COVID, and uh, but the show must go on. So sitting down, trying to do a flashlight review. Speaking of the flashlight review, uh, Through Night did send this out to me. I've had this for quite some time and I actually thought that I had already reviewed it and got an email from them saying, hey, like, what happened to this? <laughs> and so uh, here it is, the Through Night BSS V4. I've been using this a lot and I really, really like this light. So first, let me grab the spec sheet and uh, it's just a little bit too much to remember and talk about the different uh, settings and the output and things like that of the Thrunite BSS V4. Uh, and it does have uh, Firefly Low, Medium, High, Turbo, and Strobe modes. Um, strobe mode is 1200 lumens, doesn't matter, strobe stupid. It's for dance parties and people that don't know what they're doing, so <clears throat> forget about the strobe. Firefly is about a half a lumen. It's 0.54 lumens. Low is 33 lumens. Medium is 350 lumens. High is 1426 lumens. And turbo is 2523 max output lumens. Now, as we as we know, lumens don't mean everything. Uh, there is a significantly short or significantly uh, uh, wanting. Uh, candela on this and it is a 15,750 candela which makes it about 5,000 less than say the Streamlight TLR1 HL and about 10,000 less than or almost half of the Streamlight Protac HLX and that that's that'll be an important thing here in a minute uh, for me to get into however that is a plenty high enough output for an EDC light, something you're gonna carry in your pocket, backpack, in your vehicle, or even on something like a piece of your kit, which is where this has been living. Now on turbo, the max uh, runtime is 147 minutes, and on Firefly, it is 50 days. And Firefly, I'll get into all the different little modes here in a minute, but if you push and hold this side-facing button, if you just push and hold, it automatically goes into Firefly mode. See that how, how light that is? I mean, you can barely light up my face. Black t-shirt, it absorbs it, but that is Firefly mode. Great low signature mode for just finding stuff in your vehicle uh, and around the campsite, in your tent, things like that when you don't want to blind yourself. However, if you double click this, it goes into turbo mode, which is, what did I say, 2,500 lumens? Uh, 25, 23 max lumens <clears throat> and 15,000 some odd candela, which puts it at about an 850 feet uh, beam distance. Now, a couple other things is it is an IPX8, uh, IPX8 or water rating, which means about two meters submersion. Uh, it, it, all, it is all O-ring sealed and it does have its own battery that comes with it. Now, one of the nice things is that, yes, it is a changeable battery. Um, it is a changeable battery and it does have a common USB mini charging port. Uh, so that means that you don't have to worry about screwing around with really stupid magnetic charging ports and things like that. This will take what your cell phone takes, what probably a hundred other flashlights in your in, in your house takes, and you can also change the battery if one of those two things fail. So I'm glad that through night is still making sensible are still still doing sensible things to their light flashlights. Now the tail cap here is pretty basic. It is on high or off 
on high or off. To get to the modes, you use the side, the side cap here. And like I said, you can uh, push and hold is Firefly uh, or turn that off. Turn it twice, that's turbo. Turn it off, now it will remember where you were at. Turn it back on there, it'll be turbo, or this is turbo. Uh, if you turn it on and push and hold this switch, you will run through the high, medium, low Firefly modes. And if you click this three times, three times, you will get the strobe, which is, again, Stupid. Uh, so I'm glad that makes, I, I'm glad they put the strobe way back there in the back of the closet where it's kind of hard to find. Um, as a matter of fact, I've been using this for a while and hadn't accidentally, I forgot it had strobe. I hadn't accidentally hit it, which is a good thing. Um, honestly, I'm waiting for the day that flashlight companies just stop putting strobe in their flashlights. Now to this point, it seems like a pretty basic light. Uh, it's one inch tube, around four and a half, five inches long, as you can see here, fits the hand really well. Um, it's about as big as I would uh, ever want to use for a pocket carry flashlight, um, but in like a chest pocket, something like that of a work shirt, it works fine. Uh, but like I said, as far as diameter and length goes, it's about as big as I'd ever want to get in a pocket carry flashlight. But this isn't just a regular uh, flashlight. It's it has all the modes, has all the things you'd ever want for a regular flashlight. Then it has some additional features. Now, one of the features is that it does come with a uh, tape switch and tail cap for uh, to use as a rifle light. It does come with a rifle Picatinny rifle light mount. Um, it's okay, not my thing. Um, it's a little low powered for a weapon light in my opinion, which is why I mentioned the Streamlight earlier. Uh, it's about half of what the Streamlight rifle light is and about two thirds of what the um, Streamlight pistol light is. Uh, so it's a little low powered for my liking for a weapon mounted light. However, for a handheld carry defensive flashlight or everyday carry flashlight, I think this thing is just fine, especially when you look into one of the other things it comes with, which is this crown style or toothy style bezel that you can then use this defensively and it actually sort of hurts. Uh, hitting my hand with it, I can actually feel it. They're, they're not by any means too god awfully sharp. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Too god awfully sharp. But if you were to take this ah, into a cheekbone uh, or into the soft fleshy part of a mouth uh, of the side of the cheek or something like that, uh, and, and, and I mean with serious force, uh, whoever is attacking you isn't going to want to do it any longer. So I really like that this has <coughs> this addition and that it's not fixed a fixed thing. You can put it on there. You can leave it on there. You can take it off if you don't want it on. I like that that gives you the option to have this on there or not. The other option, which is the option that I've been using the most, is this little guy right here. And it looks like a mirror, but once you thread that on, it's a red light filter. I love the red light filter, um, especially if you want to use this for both a tactical application and for uh, a daily carry or, or, or pocket carry application uh, because you can push and hold Firefly. I know you can barely see that, but when I use this out in the desert, when tracking bad guys uh, out in the uh, uh, areas that there's a lot of uh, uh, drug traffic. When I'm out tracking bad guys with this, it's a low enough signature, especially in firefly mode, that I can actually point it at the ground and make out things that are in their backpacks that we find and things like that without giving away my position, uh, <clears throat> assuming we're still trying to stay undercover. However, even when it's bright, red is a very low signature light so even at its brightest on 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 turbo 
you're still dealing with a lower signature light. I love this red light filter, and I think it's a fantastic addition to this light, and it's something that other companies that claim to be tactical flashlights uh, should be offering more of because that is something that is missing from the flashlight world. There's, there's headlamps that have red lights. Uh, there's a couple other lights out there that, yes, has maybe uh, a selector on it that you can get to a red light or something like that. But I like the fact that I can just go right to this. I have a very low signature red light and uh, I don't have to do any fiddle, fiddle fucking around with it. Now again, the being a rifle light, not my thing for this, uh, it may be for you, uh, but 850 feet, 1500 candela is not very much for a weapon mounted light in my opinion. Uh, as somebody who uses weapon mounted lights in, 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 a, in, a, in a duty atmosphere, um, I can tell you that you want all the candela. I know there's a lot of people out there chasing lumens, but you want all the candela you can get out of a weapon mounted light. I would rather have a thousand lumens and 30,000 candela than 2,000 lumens and 15,000 candela any day of the week. But beyond that, one of the things I would change about this light, and it's about the only thing I would change about this light, is the clip. The clip is a single direction clip, not one of those S clips that have the reverse on it so you can put it on your hat or in your pocket. Uh, I think those are excellent clips. Um, Through Night offers them on other lights that they carry. Why they didn't offer it on this, I'm not sure. Um, it has all the other features with the red light bezel and all that other stuff that would make it perfect for bloop right on your hat, hit that, hit that button. I don't have a filter on right now. Hit that button, map reading, all the things that go along with that red light filter. Uh, why they didn't put a reversible uh, uh, hat clip on here is beyond me. All right, guys, that is it for the Through Night BSS V4. Thank you to Through Night for sending this out and their patience in my forgetfulness of, of actually doing a review on this light. I think it's a great light. Uh, it has a couple things that I, you know, maybe I'm picking on it, but overall I think it's a, it's a fantastic light at not a bad price. So we, we live in a world where there's a lot of lights out there that are in the triple digits, you know, $100, $200 and things like that. And this thing comes in, Last time I looked at right around 60 bucks. It might be a little bit more it might be a little bit less But at 60 bucks it makes it a pretty affordable light So I'm gonna put a link to this down in the description of the video Thank you again for through night to through night for sending this out great light I get tons of use out of it You will see it more on the channel as time goes because like I said, I do use it all the time Thank you everybody out there for supporting the channel If you want to support the channel the easiest way to do that is to simply hit like share subscribe and leave a comment down below That's the free way to do it uh, and I very much appreciate the support. If you want to support the channel in other ways, there is Patreon. Uh, link for that down below. Patrons, you guys are awesome. I couldn't do this without you. Uh, I have big things coming up thanks to Patreon and thanks to my patron members. Uh, and you guys, I think, out there will be equally excited about it as I am. And to everybody else out there, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later.